Hi, I'm Dave Johnson, a writer on the Windows team, and I'm trying to find some photos that I took of my daughter on a recent vacation. The problem is my digital camera uses meaningless file names, and it tends to store those photos in dozens of folders all over my computer. But that's okay, because for the next four minutes, I'm going to show you how Windows Live Photo Gallery can help keep my photos organized and help me find those pictures of my daughter that I'm looking for. So this might look familiar. Even though all my photos are in the pictures library, I'm reduced to browsing for what I want visually, which is really inefficient. But when I open Windows Live Photo Gallery, it shows those same photos from the pictures library, but here it's different. I can click on a year, and I'll see all the photos taken that year. I can click on a tag, and I'll zero in on photos by theme, subject, person, almost anything at all. Now, I just showed you tags, but really, what are tags? Simply put, it's a way to label your photos. I could tag this photo, for example, with a word like children. So when I click children, I'll see this photo plus any others that are also tagged children. Now, I could also tag this photo with words like outdoors and pets. That gives me a lot of different ways to find this photo. Now keep in mind that tags are only useful if they're descriptive and meaningful to you. I recommend using specific tags like vacation, holidays, and sunset. And don't use tags that might be embarrassing because tags and captions are included with your photos and videos when you share or publish them. Here's how to do it. I'll click add a new tag and then I'll type flowers. Now I'll drag a flower photo to the tag. And now I'll select a bunch of photos all at once and drag them to the flower tag too. Now I can click the tag and see just those photos. And if I click all photos and videos, I'll go back to my entire library. Let me tell you about a special kind of tag called a people tag. Photo gallery looks for people's faces in your photos. And when it finds them, it puts a box around them. Well, kind of like this one right here. If you identify the person in the photo, that allows you to easily zero in on photos of just that person. Let me show you how. I'll double click a photo that has a person in it. Notice there's nothing unusual yet, but if I open the info pane, then when I hover over a face, I see this box. And the info pane is asking me to identify the person. So if I click here, I can type the person's name. And if I'm signed into Windows Live, I can even choose a Windows Live buddy from the list. Next, I'll choose another photo of my daughter. And this time, I'll pick her name from the list. Now I can go back to the gallery, click her name in the list, and only see pictures that she's in. Remember the info pane I showed you earlier? Let's go back there. In addition to tags, you can identify your photos with captions and even rate the photo with up to five stars that will show up in your searches in Windows. If you share photos in Windows Live, the captions will also show up there. I tend to add tags, star ratings, even the occasional caption to my photos when I first import them from the camera. It's fast and easy, and since I can drag groups of photos to a tag, it's faster than changing individual file names. It's also a lot more flexible. Since I can assign multiple tags to each photo, that gives me a lot of different ways to find each photo so I don't have to remember as much months later when I look for a picture. So let me show you how you can take all of these tools to find a specific photo that you're looking for. I'm looking for a photo of my daughter that I took while on vacation recently. I'll start by clicking her people tag to narrow it down to pictures of her. But I still have a lot of results. I'll type vacation so I only see photos of her that say vacation in the tag or in the caption. And I can even filter pictures with certain star ratings. I'll click here so now I'll only see photos tagged with Marin, which include the word vacation and that have four stars or higher. And there's my photo. Your searches don't always have to be that detailed. In fact, often I'll just click a tag 
and scroll through the results. But it's nice to know that Windows Live Photo Gallery does make it easy to organize your photos and weed through a huge collection of images to find exactly what you need.